Assalamu alaikum this is Maryam with articles for you Today's first article has been taken from Tribune titled When a deep state strikes in a foreign land written by Dr Monis Ahmer The article discusses the escalating tensions between Canada and India following the killing of Hardeep Singh Nijar a Sikh Canadian national Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau revealed that Canadian security agencies were actively investigating credible allegations of a potential link between Indian government agents and Nijar's murder. This investigation led to a diplomatic fallout between the two countries. The article suggests that India operates as a deep state with significant influence from its intelligence agencies and military particularly in coordination with the Hindu nationalist BJP party it highlights India's history of intervening in neighboring states and its reputation for targeting Indian origin diaspora members especially Sikhs who support the Khalistan mov- movement who support the Khalistan movement the Modi government's the Modi government's actions including the expulsion of a top Indian diplomat and the suspension of trade talks are seen as an attempt to eliminate indian origin nationals abroad who are perceived as threat to national security the article questions whether it was fair for india to physically eliminate hardeep singh nijar who was allegedly involved with the khalistan movement the article also emphasizes the international security The article also emphasizes the international scrutiny on India's actions with intelligence agencies from several countries coordinating investigations into India's potential involvement in Nijar's killing. It highlights the need for India to take the matter seriously and cooperate with transparent investigations. Furthermore, the article suggests that the strained relations between India and Canada could have broader consequences, potentially affecting India's standing on the world stage, including its participation in international summits like the G7. It also raises concerns about the Modi government's approach to handling internal issues and the vulnerability of the Indian state when dealing with its internal conflicts. Finally the article mentions the Sikh community's aspirations for an independent Khalistan state and questions how long India can resist these demands it also suggests that Pakistan should consider the Sikh demand for a unified Punjab under their rule this was today's first article stay connected for more take care